put it off. I thought a Louis Vuitton pencil case is a bit extreme, I know. <laughs> and then I bought it, put it in my dressing room and thought, what am I gonna use it for? I get a lot of use out of her, even though, and I've admitted before, this is not my favorite bag aesthetically or the bag that I would choose for a lot of outfits. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I have been talking a lot on my channel recently about counterfeits and fakes. And in that conversation, my beloved Louis Vuitton monogram print has got a bit of a bashing because let's be honest, it is quite heavily replicated. So I thought to redeem myself, I would share with you today my entire monogram Louis Vuitton collection. This is my favorite print, it's my favorite camera. Canvas. So I'm going to share with you all of the pieces that I have still in my collection that I love and adore. I'm not going to share anything that has tiny little bits of monogram on it or that is the coloured monogram or the I can see the denim look bag here that's still a monogram. So let's get started and we'll start with SLGs and work our way through the collection from there. Let's get started with the four ring key holder from Louis Vuitton. I have a review of this on my channel. I've had this for quite a while so you will see some bits of wear on this. Like you'll see the corners coming up and the button. There's some of the brass coming off but this does the job for me. I use this every single day. My keys are in this. I have my house keys and my office keys in here. I only need the four ring key holder. I don't need the six. I also use a lot of mini bags so this doesn't take up just as much space. And I think this is a fabulous little piece. This is one of the pieces that if I were to lose my collection, I would buy again without hesitation because I think it's so good and it just protects the inside of my bags from the keys. It's just one of those pieces that I think is great for what it does. It does exactly what it says on the tin and I think it's a very usable and useful little piece. The Louis Vuitton key pouch or key clay, I have compared that with the four ring key holder in another video. I also have a video talking all about this and how you can use it. I use this little thing every single day. This is my mini catch-all that I keep in my bag. I have in it a key fob. I have old-fashioned wire headphones in it. I I will generally have a perfume sample in there as well. This comes with me every day to work. It comes with me if I'm using mini bags, if I'm going on holiday. This is just one of those that can fit in the tiny little bits that hang about in your bag and don't really go anywhere but cause a mess. I keep mine all together in this and I find it really, really usable. This is another piece that I would repurchase without hesitation. And the next one also is a piece that I really love and it is the Louis Vuitton Recto Verso. I'm currently using the long coin card holder in the bright orange, but this is the one that I switch out with it most. I have videos on this. I have a review of this. I have a comparison of this with the Victorine wallet. I have a wear and tear. I have a comparison of this and the long card holder that I'm using at the minute. I love this though. I have attached this from Amazon that was very inexpensive. This just attaches through the zip and I think it makes this very, very usable. I just put this over my wrist and use it almost like a little wristlet and it means if I'm only running into the shop or something, it's very, very easy to use. I think this holds a lot. I think it's fab and it's another piece that I would repurchase without a second thought. Next is my second monogram key pouch and this is the limited edition from Paris. I bought this, let's be honest, because of the print. I love Paris. This is the Vendôme store in Paris. I love the Vivian. I know that she's not for everybody, but I really love her. So whenever I seen this print, I had to have this. I have never used this. I don't intend to use this. I bought this for decor. It sits in this room. No regrets on buying it for that reason because I bought it knowing that going in. I just love it. I think it's fab. It is the monogram, but it was the print that did it for me on this and I just think it's really special. The only bag charm I have in my entire collection I think from any of the houses is this one and this comes from the Louis Vuitton patches collection. I bought this because I love this heart. I absolutely love that. I really wish they would bring out the Louis Vuitton Speedy 20 in the monogram in a collection like the patches with these on it just to add interest absolutely love it. This is the only one of these I have. I don't use bag charms a huge amount. I do use this on some of my monogram bags though to add a little bit of interest. This one's going nowhere but it's something that I don't need to have a huge collection of. I don't think I have the need for them. I also think it's something that's easy to not waste money on but you, these aren't as expensive per unit so I think it's easy to spend a lot of money on things like bag charms when you could have kept that money to buy a bag and that's kind of my thinking about it so for me one's enough. Next is my only monogram mini pochette and it is the London one. I obviously love London. I work in London a bit. It's somewhere I would be quite a lot especially before lockdown I would have been a lot. London somewhere that I just think is special to me so whenever this came out on the London print I had to have it. It is the traditional monogram underneath the print and then all of this obviously is the London backdrop. I'm gonna be honest, have never used this. Didn't really buy it to use it and I know it's a lot of money for that 
bought it kind of because of the print and because of the city. Whenever the collections come out at Christmas and they're Vivian in different cities and they're cities that mean something to me, I'm a sucker for them. I um, really find it hard to resist them. And I bought this one knowing this was going to be more like decor. Never used it, but absolutely don't regret buying it. Sticking with the London print and we have the opposite end of that. I use this every day. This is my pencil case. I think it's the Elizabeth pencil case. It's called, it also has the London print on it. I love these prints to add interest to the traditional monogram. This one is red on the back. It's now on the ground. <laughs> Ignore that Gwenny. It's light on the bottom. You can see there's a bit of a, a nail mark I think here on this one but this does get used every day. I take this to work. You can see it has my markers. Oh, that's great. It has my markers in it and it also has these pens. These are the pens that I always write with. They're an ink pen. They're my favourite pen and this is a daily piece for me. It's one of those pieces that I probably should have bought a lot sooner than I did. I put it off. I thought a Louis Vuitton pencil case is a bit extreme, I know. <laughs> that's really, really funny because it's not as if I'm sensible when it comes to this all the time. But I did think that a Louis Vuitton pencil case was a bit unnecessary and a bit extreme and I didn't buy it for a long time and I should have just bought it because since I've bought it, I use this all the time, every day. Moving on to pouches. This is the pouch that comes with the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. I use this for business receipts. I carry all of my business receipts when I'm out and about in it. It also has a little computer thing in there. So that's very much useful for me for work because I have to keep my business expenses and receipts separate so they all go in there and then get passed to my accountant. So I actually do use the pouch with the Neverfill a lot. I know a lot of people think this isn't that useful and don't really use it with the Neverfill for me but for me it has a really good use and it's used basically on a daily basis and I find it really really good. Next are the three monogram toiletries. These are the older toiletries which I think might be discontinued now and they now have the version that's a bit like the Eclipse where you have the card slots and things on the inside mine are the traditional toiletries that are basically made for that I know they did have a lot of people using them with an insert to use them as bags and I think that's why they upgraded them a bit and put the card slots and things in but mine are the toiletries that were out for a long time this is the 15 and this gets used on a daily basis this is my catch-all in my work bag. I do have a video with what's in my work bag that was requested and you see in that that this is basically where I carry all of my everyday bits and pieces. I have my hand cream here which is the Locketean Cherry Blossom. This is beautiful and very inexpensive. If I can find it I'll link it below. I really recommend that. I carry that in my bag and it's very inexpensive compared to some of the ones that you will see a lot. I have a calculator in here. I have tablets in here. I have plasters in here. I have hair ties in here. I have a hair clip I can see in there. It's basically a catch-all and it helps keep my bag tidy. I basically have to admit to preferring this on a daily basis as a mini catch-all than the mini pochette and I know a lot of people would probably think the other way but I just find this really usable and it just sits in my bag. It lives there and I think it's fab. Next is the toiletry pouch 19. This is probably my least used although in there at the minute there is a travel size shower gel and there are contact lenses in there and there's some feminine products in there so I do use this every time we go on holiday but it's probably my least used out of the three but it's not going anywhere because I find these very usable when I'm going on holiday. I do like having the set but it's not just about that. This one although used less anytime I travel gets used and I use it really for the traditional use as a toiletry. I don't really use this as a bag that much. I just I don't know if I've ever used this one as a bag but I do use it as a toiletry quite a lot and I really enjoy having these in my collection and the last one is the toiletry 26 26 is it I use this a lot this one comes every time I travel you will see on this that there are stains on this I really need to clean this up there's marks on the monogram here and here and there's stains on it this also came on holiday with us very recently. I take this every time I travel. I have used this one quite a few times on holiday as a clutch, basically so as I'm not carrying that many different bags with me, I take this with me with all of my toiletries in it and then I've taken this out and used it as a clutch in the evening and I admit to having used it without having cleaned the stains on it. One of the good things I will say about this is when we were coming home from holiday this time, the children's shampoo opened. It was in here and it opened and it spilled all over this. This has the wipeable interior and I 
can tell you it hasn't done any damage to it. It didn't get on the vachetta, thankfully, up here. But on the inside, I just wiped it out and you can still see bits of my makeup and stuff in there. But as for the shampoo having escaped all over it, it's still in perfect condition. It hasn't damaged the canvas, hasn't damaged it really in any way. And I think this is a fabulous piece. When we were on holiday as well, when we were going out in the evenings or we were going down to the pool or the beach, this is what we used as kind of a catch-all for more important things. So if we were going out in the evening and didn't have a big bag, it would have had some wipes and some spare nappies in it. Or if we were going to the pool, it had in it our phones, our sunglasses, it had bits and pieces, ear pods, things like that, that you needed to keep together that were a bit more important than the children's goggles, for say. So this is what came with us and I find this such a great piece. Now moving on to the Nice family and I have the Nice Nano, which is this one. This I use for my lip products. There are probably at any given time about four or five of my lip products lying in my Neverfull because I will pick one and put it on and throw it in my bag and then the next day I'll forget to look for that one and I'll take another one and throw it in my bag and then the next day it repeats and it repeats like a pattern. So this quite often is a lot emptier than it should be. Normally if I have my lip products in this, this basically is full but the ones as I say I use on a daily basis will be in my Neverfull but that's the way it sits. I have this little organizer in it. I think that makes it a lot more useful and this I kind of bought as decor if I'm honest. I think it's very very cute. I love how small it is. I love the look of it and then I bought it, put it in my dressing room and thought what am I going to use it for? So it wasn't something that I needed. I definitely don't regret it but it's not as usable as the next one I'm going to show you unless you're wanting to keep small things in it like this. Since I've put my lip products in it, it keeps them in order. I know where they are. I find it very usable and Really, to be honest, I love the aesthetic of it. I love it sitting on my desk. It makes me happy. I think it's pretty. It's just one of those pieces that I enjoy looking at. The next one, by contrast, is very usable for me. And this has been through the mill. I still haven't cleaned it since the last time I showed this on my channel. It's stinking inside. You can see the makeup on the top of it. If I took out all of that makeup and showed you the state of the liner or the organizer that's in it, it's covered in makeup. Thank goodness it's not in the actual niece. That is the beauty if you're using one of these niece products for makeup or toiletries or organization like that. I really would recommend an uh, organizer for it. Not only does it help them keep them in place and keep them where they're going to be, but it really protects the inside. If you've seen, I have a video on this if you want more information on this. Go and look at that and you'll see how dirty mine is and at least it pre protects the actual needs from that. This I think is fabulous. I love this. This is one of the Louis Vuitton pieces that I was most excited to get because I'm a stationery geek, I'm an organization geek, I like to play with things. So when this arrived and I got my organizer for it, I loved sorting out my makeup and putting it in and setting it where it should go and setting it on my desk. This makes me very, very happy. I would buy this in a heartbeat again if I didn't have it. It sits on my desk in my dressing room. I get ready with this every morning and I love the look of it as being the traditional monogram. I think it's the heritage of the house. I just love it. This is one of my favourite pieces in my whole collection. Next if we move on to stationery and this is also one of my favourite pieces in my whole collection and it is my Louis Vuitton agenda in the GM size. I adore this thing but I am a stationery geek and I do like to write things down. You can see on mine it has this beautiful dashboard from Vantage Agendas from Emma's company and it has Emilio's closet on it. It has my notes from Emma's company. These are things that were drawn by my children. It has my stickers that I use whenever I'm planning in this. It has my trusty pen. I have these pens linked somewhere because they're the only ones I used and I got asked about them one time. I absolutely love this agenda. I think it's fabulous. That being said, if you're not a stationary person, if you're not somebody that writes things down, if you buy one of these just because it's Louis Vuitton, I don't think you're suddenly going to start to. If you're a computer person, you're a computer person. For me, I'm a stationary person. I love to take this. I take this everywhere. I even take this when we go away for weekends. My husband's like, what are you bringing that for? Because it just comes with me, basically. I love it. I think it's fabulous. It's one of those pieces that I wish I'd bought sooner. Another one of my favourites. Sticking with stationery, I also have this Louis Vuitton monogram notebook. And why did I buy this? I bought this because it's the Paris print. Again, this is the Vendôme store. There is Vivian. I love her. It has the gold edged paper. This sits on my desk. I have a collection of notebooks in my office. It came with these stickers, which I really, really like. They're all the Vivian. I love her. I just love it. It's bright pink on the inside. I haven't used it yet but there's many, many notebooks in my office that I haven't used yet. I kind of bought it 
not really with the intention of using it or writing in it. I bought it with the intention of it sitting on my desk and looking really, really pretty because it's monogram, it's gold and it's Paris Vendôme. What else does one need to say? All right, let's move on to bags and let's start with the bag that started my Louis Vuitton addiction, my handbag addiction, my Louis Vuitton monogram addiction that started it all. This bag, you have a lot to answer for. This was my first Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the GM. This was my first luxury designer bag as of my collection as it is today. This was my first Louis Vuitton piece. This was my first entry into this world. I got this for my 30th. I was so excited. I saved up and I saved up for this. My husband offered to buy it for me for my 30th and I said no. This was an achievement for me. Achieving this bag, saving this bag. I'd opened my business by this point. This really meant something. This bag is never going anywhere despite the fact she has been semi-retired because she's slightly worn. Even the canvas on this bag is worn but she used every single day for over 10 years to work every day, to travel every day. She's been on the beach. You name it this baby has been on it. She has earned her money and earned her semi-retirement. You can see my bits, these bits are even broke off. I did get them replaced at one point and then I broke them again. All of this, I can, I know that I can get the leather on this replaced. I don't think they can fix the canvas, but I love her. It is the old fashioned one with the script writing, as you can see the curved script writing on the background. I didn't have a handbag organizer when I first had this because I didn't know those things existed. And you can see inside of mine how messy she is and how dirty she is, but she started it all and I love her. And I bought her in Rome and I've said this before, at the time she was 550 euro. Let's not dwell on that. Let's put that away and not think about the price increases. Sticking with the Neverfull, this is the replacement. It's the exact same thing, only it has the pink interior. This is the one that I replaced her with, with the pink. It does have a liner to keep a little bit better organization in there and keep her a bit cleaner. Again, it's the GM in the monogram. I didn't switch, I didn't change. I love this bag. I think for a big black hole tote, you cannot beat this bag. She's fabulous. Love her, love her, love her. And as soon as that one needed to be semi-retired, there was no doubt in my mind that I was buying another identical bag. I used to have more of the monogram bags from Louis Vuitton. I have sold the Nano Speedy. I've sold the Palm Springs Mini. I still have the multi pochette access where I find this talked about it in videos, not going to go into detail. I find it really usable. It's very good as a mum bag. It's very flat to your body. It's very light. It fits a lot. I find it very easy to use. I find this strap comfortable if I'm running around a park. This one, even though I think it's past its height, I think it's past its peak of popularity. These pouches are still going to be really usable. This is effectively a pochette accessoire. This bag, even for the pouches for me, will stay because it's usable and I still get a lot of use out of her, even though, and I've admitted before, this is not my favourite bag aesthetically or the bag that I would choose for a lot of outfits, but it is a very functional and usable bag for mum life. The next one is a bag that I prefer aesthetically to that one, but this one doesn't get as much use as that one does because of mum life. But this is a bag I absolutely love. This is a Papillon trunk from Louis Vuitton. It is the circular cylinder type trunk. It has the same lock as the trunks have. It has these details. I bought this in Paris. It comes with a thick, thick bandolier type strap that I really like wearing with it. I think it's a vibe and an edge all by itself. I still remember the first time I laid eyes on this bag. Bestie and I were standing in Louis Vuitton in Dublin and a girl walked past. She had an oversized denim jacket on. I still can picture her. She looked really cool. She had this, she was wearing it around her back. So the bag was hanging at the back. And as she walked past, we went, phew to look at this bag. And from that moment, this bag was on my list to go and have a look at and inquire about. And I love her. I bought her in Paris and I think she is absolutely stunning. And the last of my Louis Vuitton bags before we get onto the trunk is one of my all time favorite bags. I don't know why I didn't buy this bag sooner. I've talked about this bag a lot. I think this bag is absolutely fabulous. Since I bought this petite mal, I now have two more. You can see both of them over there, the pink and the gray up here and the deep pink down there. Lover. I would still buy the, the monogram first. This was my first one. I think the monogram is a real edge and a vibe. She gets a lot of use because she's darker and she's neutral. The epi pink down there is probably the one that gets the use after this one. The other light one I'm a bit more cautious of. It is the petite mal on the inside. It's made to look like one of the trunks. I think this bag is special. You can wear a crossbody. One of you guys had told me to try her with the thick strap that came with the Papillon bag and she looks amazing. Thank you for that tip. She looks fabulous like that. Love this bag. No regrets. Buy her again in a heartbeat, even at today's prices. And the last piece in my monogram collection is quite special and she is my 
thought I still had a sticker on there, but no, she's definitely gone, is my trunk that I bought myself for my 40th birthday. This is the Louis Vuitton Coffret Tresseur, I think in the 24 size. I just wanted one of these. I wanted to get to the point where I could buy myself a Louis Vuitton trunk. Now, ideally, if the lottery man was to come a-calling, I would have one of those big trunks that's a coffee table and there's lots of drawers and there's glass on them and they're all monogram and they're fabulous looking, but I can't be affording one of those. So instead I got this and I'm very lucky to have her. I think she's absolutely fabulous. I bought this for myself for my 40th birthday. It was a, it was a moment in time. She was hand-painted by one of the artisans at Louis Vuitton. I love cherry blossoms, so she has cherry blossoms coming down here and coming over the front of the trunk. She has Vivian who I love. I know not everybody does but I love her. She's in bright colours because I love bright colours and she's holding the petite mal because it's one of my all-time favourite bags. There was no doubt in my mind it would be a petite mal that she was holding and she has inside the beautiful light pink colour on the inside. She has this little flap that you can put on top of things. She has the Louis Vuitton made in France up there. She was made in 2021 so she was made in the year that I turned 40 which I thought was quite symbolic. I ordered her well in advance so was that she was made for my birthday. Anita the fabulous person in Dublin who looks after me arranged all of that. She comes with the little keys that I keep on her in here and what I store in this she normally sits up here behind me you will see her in my videos. I now keep my SLGs in this. I don't have a huge SLG collection. I um, much prefer bags than SLGs but I do have a few spares. So she lives up there with all of my SLGs in her. She also has a little teddy bear and a little flower in her that my son bought me for Mother's Day. They sit up in here as well and she generally sits open because they're in her and I just like the look of it. She comes, sits like this. One thing I will say if you're getting one of these because I leave mine sitting open, woohoo, she didn't fall. You will see that she's getting a crease across here. I don't know if you'll see it on the camera but she's getting a crease across the canvas where she sits open. I'm fine with that because I use her and she sits open and that's wear and tear but if you are getting one of these and you don't want that you'll need to keep your trunk closed so as that doesn't happen. But she sits up there holding those things. The flower and the teddy bear for my children just make me happy. I love this. I don't regret her. I think she was a fabulous piece to buy myself for my 40th and she's one of those things that I just treasure and think is just fabulous. That is my Louis Vuitton monogram collection as it currently stands. I don't think I have forgotten anything. I think that's everything. There are pieces that have gone. There has been the bags that I talked about that have gone. Not too much though. For me, Monogram is classic. It's forever. It's something I want to keep and have. And I love having this collection. I love having all of the traditional Louis Vuitton Monogram. I'm very attached to the heritage of the brand. I think it's it's just, I just love it. So I wanted to showcase all of this collection to you after having talking about the counterfeits and how the monogram falls prey to that. I wanted to share this with you. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this collection. If there's any of these pieces that you would like more information on or you have a question, just come into the comment box and let me know what they are. If you have enjoyed this, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do consider subscribing. And if you're not done with me yet, I'm gonna leave another video for you on the screen. Thank you so much for being here. Please take care and I will see you again in the next one.